Okay, let me tell you about an even more gnarly cycle. This one is gnarly. This is the fear cycle. This can steal your life, people. Who in here already knows they live in the fear cycle? Where your stomach gets all knotted and your chest gets tight and you think, I'm falling apart. This is killing me. I'm gonna die. Okay? Uh, yep. So this is what you're choosing. You see the vision, you have the trial, you feel the fear, and so then you go and hide. Guys, before I came up here, I, had, I was holding Desiree's hand. I was saying, breathe for me. <laughs> breathe for me. I, I mean, I, was, I felt like I was going to die. I feel it. I have the fear cycle just like anybody else. But I did not hide. I got up. And I went, Whoa! and then I felt better. <laughs> so you, you hide, but then the hiding leads to worry because you know that you're not living at your highest self and your biggest purpose and all that nagging happens. And your husband says, why aren't you cleaning the house? And why haven't you put on deodorant today? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm just in one of my things. It's just who I am. This is what I do. OK? So then you're worried, which then this is where it gets gnarly. This is where you start blaming and you start saying, why didn't his, my husband pick up his socks today? Doesn't he see how hard I'm working and how frustrated I am and that I can't even put on deodorant? Why doesn't he see this? <laughs> he should just know me. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. You start blaming, or you do worse. You look at your upline and you say, why didn't they put that question underneath me? And why am I not? You know, that, that, it's just gnarly, and it's not kind. It's really not kind. It really destroys relationships. Fear is more dangerous than you think it is. You think, oh, it's okay. I'm just feeling fear right now. Everybody has it. Oh, imagine if we didn't. Imagine if we all committed today to kick fear out of our life, to put juniper berry on our kidneys. <laughs> and say, no more, not today. I will not run, I will not hide. Wow, you felt it, the whole world lifted. It's like the city of Enoch, how do you think they got there? They started choosing different things. Okay, uh, let's see, blame, and then you become the victim, and you feel like no one loves you, and everyone hates you, and you're not doing anything right, and then you have to be saved. Like someone has to save you when you're the victim or not save you and then you go to another cycle and then you go to another cycle and then soon you don't even recognize yourself anymore and you have to go get on antidepressants and all of that. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Well, maybe, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so you get sad and um, then you, you, lose all, you lose all choice, you lose all control and your life is now in someone else's hands. Oh, and then you have another vision. And then you go it all over again. Who relates? There's got to be more than that. Who relates, people? Are we done? Are we done? <coughs> you have a choice. We fight for choices. We have choices. There is always a choice. And if you feel like there's not a choice, it's because you're in a cycle. You have a choice. And here's the gnarly thing about these cycles, these, these blocks that you're hitting, this gunk that you're trudging through, is that there's, there's rhyme to it. There's a fall, and then there's a no choice. Interesting. Let's look at something different. You have a choice. Guys, there are millions of these types of progression. Millions. This will be in my book too, someday, soon. <laughs> Charity cycle, love cycle, service cycle, patient cycle, trust cycle, humility cycle. Oh, there's so many choices we can choose, friends. 
that are so glorious, so changing. I'm gonna come over here now. I just caught an eye from somebody over here. I want you to understand this gratitude cycle. If you were to just implement this one choice into your life, it would change your future forever. Just one. Gratitude. You see the vision. Of course you have the trial. But instead of choosing doubt or fear, you choose gratitude. You choose to go out and see a mountain and be like, who put that there? It's it. <laughs> Grass! A tree! Oh my goodness, you guys! There's so many things to be grateful for. Your baby's laugh should feel just as amazing to you as if you just hit diamonds. Gratitude is a gift and you choose it. You can hit diamonds and not have gratitude. <coughs> So, oop, so you choose gratitude, which then, of course, naturally comes hope. Which then, of course, there's the endure time. There's the time where you just keep thanking God for the trees and the grass and the smiles and the prayers. And, and, and it, it doesn't take very long, to be honest when you understand what the cycle is all about, because right on the other end of endure, oh baby, this is where you realize that it has nothing to do with you. Your success really, I mean, you do the work, you get out there, you do the 631, you do the actions, you choose gratitude, and then watch how everything you try to do falls apart and miracles step in line and take over. And then when you have the $10,000 a month or the $100,000 a month, you know who that really belongs to and what you're going to do with it. Okay? Can I, can I get a clap for that? that? That's profound. That is real. That is where we, you do, we push away our, 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 our success and we push away the money and we push away the, what, the praise and all of that, and you say, oh no, I'm not that awesome. Don't ask me to do anything more. <laughs> and, and we say no to the miracles. We say no to the, this is the most important step here, guys, because this is where you realize you could have a million dollars or no dollars, you're still the same. It's just with a million dollars, you can do more things that God asks you to do. Okay, miracles are awesome. Wait for this. You become a whole new person. You are brand new. You just went through a refiner's phase that now from that point on, everything in the past, the, the mom that told you that your hair was snarly or the grandmother that told you that you were fat or the teacher that told you you couldn't read, that's gone. Everything, all of it, abuse, victim, it's gone. If you truly go through this and never go back to the others again, never choose that. You have a choice, see? And that, all of that, but I'll tell you this, let me tell you this. If you do go back, all of that comes back on top of you. All of it. All of a sudden you're mad about your husband's socks again and you're like, I haven't been mad about his socks for years. Part of the process, guys. You become a new you, brand new, ready for And Every single experience is a brand new experience. That's the coolest part. You, you think that you're feeling fear, but you're really feeling like, you, you, you ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? This is brand new. I'm going to give it a name. Snarly. I feel snarly right now. Snarly, snarly, snarly. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, you can, you can get creative. You're, you're new, you're brand new. And then after being brand new, that's when you have attracted your abundance. Abundance in friends, abundance in, in money, abundance in whatever it is, in love. 
Sometimes, guys, we think we need a billion dollars, and really we just need somebody to tell us that we are, are awesome. We, we just need a text. Like, when I was preparing this presentation, guys, oh my gosh. I was like, everything that I was going to do was wiped from my mind. I was brand new. And I was like, what am I supposed to say? And then I got a text. Nowhere. I didn't, I didn't even... I was just feeling an emotion. And my sister-in-law texts me all these quotes that I've used in this presentation. She says, I just thought you might need these. Thank you. <laughs> sure did. And then I get another text from another friend saying, oh my goodness, I I'm feeling you right now and I just want you to know. You have what it takes. You've inspired me. Oh, abundance rocks. And then, this is the coolest part, then you get another vision. And you're brand new. You, are, you have now progressed. Who knows what rank you've passed through. Who knows whatever miracle happened to get you to the next level. You are not back in the same spot. You are brand new. So, let's just recap. What are you going to choose? Hmm. Hmm. Are you gonna choose? Let's. I'm not hearing anything. What are we gonna do? Uh, good. Thank you. You need to say it. You need to say it. You need to be able to say that I choose this today because it, when it when you're feeling it. Thank you. Can you stand up? Right here. Can you stand up? Yes. I know. I love it. I love it. What's your name? Joy. Oh, Joy. Yes. <laughs> My. Miracle. <laughs> jo Joy, what do you choose? I choose gratitude. Yes. Yes. I believe you. I believe you. And that's really what you need to do, guys. In the moment when you're feeling fear or you're feeling doubt or you're feeling any pointless emotion, they call them, they are pointless emotions. They lead you to a pointless place. You simply stand and say, I choose gratitude, just like joy. Put some oil. Okay, so what do you do? What do you do? Use your oils. You guys, they're vibrating so high. When you, the reason why you're feeling doubt and fear and 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 hatred and anger and hurt, hurt. Oh, you hurt me. Hurt is because you're just at a low energy. You're vibrating really low. You need to raise that up, and then all of a sudden, that same vibration that's coming to you feels like excitement, or feels like passion, or feels like, like whatever it needs to be. Hey, love, my goodness, love. Okay, and the oils do that. They're like your best friend. Have you ever had those friends where you wa they walk in the door, and you're like, I must have known you before. Like, I love you. <laughs> you, like, make my heart sing and make you feel happy. <laughs> Your name is Roman Camomile. <laughs> when you put these oils on and you experience them and you let them soak in and you breathe, for goodness sakes, breathe, you receive a whole nother energy and you open your mind to a whole nother place of experience and then you create your own cycle of, of amazingness and you can name it whatever you want. So use your oils, reach out, find somebody that's vibrating really high and say, can I just listen to you, listen to your video, listen to this? I teach a class on Zoom every Thursday. Come, huh. it's on Zoom, I don't mind. Let's see you. Let's hear you. Let's feel you. We've got to band together, guys. It's not about teams. Doterra needs to rise because it's pure. It's beautiful. And us it, and, and, and whatever team doing good, the name of doTERRA getting out there and saying that we are changing people's lives and raising people's hearts and, and making them feel better and making them choose different things. Guys, that gets around. And whether it's your team or her team, it's, it's contagious. And, so, and you'll have people calling you saying, I've heard about this doTERRA thing and I saw you do it. Can you put some oils on my third eye? <laughs> <laughs> so reach out. Learn something new, guys. That's what this is all about. When you feel this quote right here, I love it and I, 
I know this transition is painful, but you're not falling apart. You're just falling into something different with a new capacity to be beautiful. Well, that's the goal, right? To become something new. So you learn something new. And here's something super, super, super. Look at this cycle. Look at how it rolls. You will, you will first, you will receive isn't that interesting that the trial, the gratitude, and the hope, and the endure, that's your receive time, guys. If you're saying, I don't want my husband to put his socks on the floor, it makes me mad, and it really hurts my feelings because he doesn't love me. You are turning away your receiving time. And you're going to push through, and you're going to get up even though you're tired, and you're going to muddle through and work through it because you're so much better than everybody else. You are deciding that you're not, you're not you're going to receive anything. So let's receive, which then gives us the ability to give. Miracles, new you, abundance. Okay? Um, I have three minutes. This is 